Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about the classic girl's guide to drinking. Before we get started, let's make ourselves a little drink. I'm probably going to be yelled at by a lot of people because I don't know that this is a real drink but I like it so <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm just going to pour two ounces of gin into a shaker here. Now this is like a tiny little mini shaker because I'm only making one drink. <laughs> I don't need one for many people. And I am going to shake that up. I'm going to pop open the top here and pour it into my little coupe glass. And there you go. And just to top it off, I am going to put in a little bit of cranberry juice just along the top here to give it a little bit of color and also because I love cranberry juice. <laughs> Cheers, friends. Perfect. So drinking as a classic woman is a little bit of a tricky thing because I think a lot of young people drink to get drunk and that should never be the purpose of having a drink. You can have a little and get a little bit buzzed, but I don't think getting drunk is really a classic thing that a woman should do. Now, if you really want to get drunk alone with your husband, okay, do what you want. You guys are alone. You can trust each other. It's a safe situation. But getting drunk generally, not a proponent of, and getting drunk in public with a lot of people doesn't look very classic. And getting drunk in a public place is also dangerous for you because you don't know who's going to be there, who can take advantage of you, and how out of control you are. So before I get into how to drink and how to be classic, I just want to start off by saying that. Basically, if you want to be classic, you have to drink in a classic way. Having a drink is not a bad thing, but being drunk around people and putting people in a position where they have to take care of you, getting so drunk that you're vomiting, ugh, that is not a classic thing to do, and I do not recommend it. I also don't think you're gonna feel great the next morning, and it's hard to be a classic woman when you feel sick the next day. So, drinking is first and foremost something you should do as a little bit of fun, but not getting overly drunk. Being really inebriated ends up not being worth it. You think that you want to be drunk, you think that you want to be out of control, but at the end of the day, A, you're putting yourself at risk because you don't know who could take advantage of you and what kind of a situation you're in, and B, it's not something that actually ends up being as fun as you think it will be. It's fun for the first few minutes and then after that it isn't great. It's something that you kind of are aiming for, it's a feeling that you're aiming for, but then you're constantly pursuing it the rest of the night because you'll only get it for about 10 or 15 minutes. So I don't think that it's worth getting drunk or inebriated, but having a drink every now and then, I think that's okay and it's kind of nice. So here's a few tips to drinking like a classic lady. So my first piece of advice is if you are out with girlfriends or even with just a group of people and you are drinking but you don't want to get drunk, get something that you don't love the flavor of. I used to do this and I thought it was such a smart thing. I would get scotch, which at the time I really didn't like the flavor of. Even now, I like the flavor of it, but you can't drink it quickly because it's just not that kind of a drink. And it would allow me to sip it over the course of the evening. Maybe over two, even three hours, I would be working on the same drink because it wasn't some sweet sugary thing that I absolutely loved the flavor of, didn't taste the alcohol, and was able to down three of in an hour where you are gonna get drunk and there is no way to stop it. So drinking one drink over the course of like two or three hours will prevent you from actually getting drunk and it will save you money because you're only drinking one drink and it will really make it so that you don't get tipsy too quickly. You're being very careful about how you're drinking because you can't drink it very fast. Now, whatever that drink is for you, whether that be scotch, whiskey, bourbon, whatever kind of drink you can drink but you actually don't love and you can't disguise the flavor of alcohol, do that because that'll be a drink that you can have and nurse over the course of a few hours. And that is just great because you're not actually losing control of your facilities. You may be like a little bit tipsy at the beginning or a little bit buzzed and you kind of get that feeling but you're not anywhere near close to inebriated or drunk. And so it would be a good thing for you to have and be a classic woman. 
Now, if you're hosting at home, you can be a little bit less careful. You can have one or two drinks over the course of the night. You don't have to just have one. You can be a little bit less careful about it. And so I always love drinking pretty drinks out of pretty stemware. Now, I think it's a very classic thing for a woman to be carrying around a glass that looks like this or a wine glass, carrying around a wider based glass. I do it, but I don't always think that it's the most classic looking thing, especially if you are going to an event. If you are going to a gala or something like that and you're in a beautiful gown, wearing a beautiful gown and carrying around just like a squat glass isn't the most classic thing. Walking around with like a beautiful martini glass or a beautiful champagne flute, those kinds of things will make you look so beautiful, so classic. It kind of elongates your fingers too. It just makes everything look a little bit more feminine. And so just drinking out of a glass that's a little bit more elevated and fancy will make you feel elevated and fancy. So when you're home, you can drink a couple of tastier drinks out of pretty glasses. But if you decide that it's not scotch or bourbon that you want when you're out with friends and that's not the drink you wanna nurse over the course of the evening, maybe just getting like a gin martini which I don't think is very good at disguising the flavor of alcohol. And again, you can kind of nurse that over the course of a night. That would also look really pretty if you want to look more elegant. So having an elegant glass, going with that is so fun. Now, some of my favorite drinks that you can drink out of stemware are Cosmos, Martinis, and there are a lot of different ones that you can look up and come in pretty glasses like this. Now, this isn't actually a Cosmo. It's kind of like Cosmo inspired because it has the cranberry juice, but I love the flavor of a Cosmo and I love the flavor of cranberry juice with my alcohol. Now, when you're hosting a party at your house, you should learn how to make a few nice cocktails and have the ingredients on hand so that when you're hosting, you can actually give people some options that are really classic and elegant drinks. Now you can make Cosmos and martinis like the ones that I mentioned. There are a bunch of other different kinds that you can learn and there are some that really don't require a lot of ingredients so you don't have to go out and buy a whole cupboard worth of stuff. But having the knowledge of how to make a few cocktails is so classic and elegant and it's just kind of a thing that you should have in your back pocket because it's like, oh, she knows how to make cocktails. She's really elevated and classy. <laughs> and those are all really fun things. Now, if you are in a situation where you don't wanna drink, but everyone else around you is drinking and you think that you not drinking would make them uncomfortable, there are some great options for what you can do so that people don't really notice that you're not drinking and you're not really drawing attention to it. So what I mean when I say that you're making other people uncomfortable is that there are situations, maybe even work situations, where everyone there is having a drink and you not drinking puts people on edge. Now, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think anyone should ever be peer pressured into drinking. Never, ever, ever. And if you decide you never want to drink, that is totally A-OK -okay in my book. But there are situations where it would make them uncomfortable and it makes you uncomfortable to not be drinking. So the way to get around that is just ask for a glass with some club soda or tonic in it and just a lemon or lime on the brim of the glass and that will make it look like you have a gin and tonic in your hand. And you can also ask your bartender what he can make you that's like a virgin cocktail, so a cocktail without any alcohol in it and that won't draw attention to the fact that you're not drinking but it'll also give you an opportunity to have something that tastes nice and you don't have to really worry about it. So don't ever feel embarrassed if you decide that you don't wanna drink in any situation that you're in. There are a lot of options for what you can do. So that's also a great thing to kind of just have in your back pocket and know when you go out in a situation that you don't want to drink. Now my last piece of advice for drinking in a classic way is also read the situation. So if you go to a ball game, get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always have to drink rosé. You don't always have to drink a martini. If you are in a situation, if you're at a barbecue or a ball game, don't be the one person who asks someone to make them a martini. Drink a beer if you like beer because beers are great and they are so good in the summertime and it doesn't make you less classic or elegant to kind of read the situation and understand that having a beer here is kind of what you should be doing. Having a martini at a ball game really doesn't fit in. So if you are somebody who likes beer and wants to drink a beer and you're at a ball game, go for it. Absolutely, why not? Just drink your beer, enjoy it, and it doesn't make you any less classic or elegant. It actually makes you more classic and elegant because you're kind of 
doing what the situation calls for. It would be like wearing really high stiletto heels to a ball game. That's not classic, it's kind of just getting in the way. Wearing sandals or gym shoes or whatever so that you are prepared for the situation, that makes sense and that is classic and elegant. One more sip of my drink. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about drinking elegantly, how you do it, what you drink, and how you like to drink it. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. Hit that notification bell to get notified of all my new videos. Hit that like button. Please head over to classicallyabby.locals.com if you'd like to support my channel, see more of this content, and be part of our community. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!